So guys, welcome to the third video. We're actually going on a trip today. We're going to Belgium. So um, yeah, we're on our way now as we speak. Just drove into Belgium and uh, we're going to Leuven. We're going to do a different kind of video. We're going to do a Leuven food tour. Leuven is uh, really close to Brussels. It's the capital of Europe. And um, yeah, let's do this. Let's go. So guys, we arrived. Welcome to Belgium, Leuven. This is it. Yeah, so this is the main square of Leuven. On the left side we have the city hall. We'll go back to that again. That's the main church. Beautiful building, especially on the inside. We'll go in in a second. But that city hall here on the right, this building is just insane. The details on this, the amount of sculptures is just it's mind boggling. There's hundreds of statues, as you can see. You can look at this for hours and you would still miss 99% of the whole building. It's such a gorgeous building. So yeah, this is the church on the opposite side of City Hall. Also a gorgeous building. It's probably been restored multiple times throughout its history. It's about 500, 600 years old by now. And it just looks magnificent not over the top like uh, catholic churches even though i think this is a catholic church i don't know actually but it looks so s subtle and i don't know the materials used were beautiful this is what it looked like uh, in the 1600s so this is the outside but on behind it there's just something even more important the waffle place they make fresh waffles you can choose all kinds of toppings yeah this is how they make them in a waffle iron of course and uh, they serve you just the best hot waffles right on the main square of Leuven so this is what I got the one with chocolate and caramel this is what it looks like it just tastes insane so guys this is it actual Belgian waffle in Leuven look at this look it's, it's the water the chocolate still like all watery watery am I saying that right doesn't matter look at it it's amazing looks beautiful you can smell the waffle flavor the smell from miles away it's really oh my god let's just stop talking let's try it if I can manage to get it out this is gonna get messy First bite in uh, Leuven. Let's do this. Mm. This is by far the best waffle I've ever had. Ever. It's still warm. Chocolate's all molten with some caramel on top. Definitely go to this place right on the main square in Leuven you're gonna love it but yeah let me try another one mm. so this is just some video to fill up the time in between the food stuff yeah I'm just here standing doing some time-lapse looks pretty cool actually if you ask me yeah I saw this building uh, which is also on the main square by the way looks beautiful with this nice bust in the middle surrounded by gold yeah very beautiful so I thought I had to incorporate it into the video so guys that was really good we're gonna have a savory waffle now I've never had a savory waffle let's see what it's like let's do this we're going to this spot Look at this barbecue chicken. That's some looks like it has some cheese, some cilantro on top, nachos. I've, I've never had a savory pancake, 
so I'm not sure what to expect. Jalapenos. Oh, it's only one way to find out. Oh my god, jalapeno is really hot, of course. Let's see. Not sure how to attack it, but I guess I'll just start in the middle. Not even sure if it's hot. Well, it is actually, yeah. That's it, some chicken, barbecue chicken. Look at this. Looks amazing, let's try it. A real savory Belgian waffle. You ready? I'm not ready actually. Let's do this. Too big a bite, a bit smaller. That's it. Let's see if you can hear the crispiness. Yeah, thank you. Yes, heel bedankt. Yeah, it's actually really good. You wouldn't think chicken goes well with, or barbecue chicken goes well with a waffle, but it reminds me of uh, chicken and waffles. It is actually chicken and waffles. But yeah, it's good. Try it. You should. You should definitely try it. I'm a big. I think I'm a bigger fan of the sweet waffles but this is amazing too i would definitely recommend this get this if you're ever in love get it so after the waffle we had this nice cookie it tasted so good it's just a free cookie by the way it's nothing special but it's so creamy and buttery, oh, especially if you dip it in coffee. Or actually, I think that's, uh, what is it called again? Chai latte. Oh, it's so good, it's amazing. Just a free cookie again, but it tasted so good. I had to mention it. So creamy, so chock full of butter. And yeah, it's really good. I'm gonna take another bite. I have to dip it again, and uh, yeah tastes really good look at how I'm enjoying it wow like I've never, never had a cookie before so guys that was it that was the savory pancake that was actually really good reminded me of uh, fried chicken with uh, waffles but yeah we're gonna now we're gonna walk around for a couple of hours burn some calories because that was a lot and uh, yeah Drink some water, stay hydrated. We'll see you around dinner time. By the way, you gotta see this. See this fly? Poor fly, who would do something like this? Kids nowadays? Pretty sure it's kids. Look at that. Poor fly. Anyway. Anyway, that was it. And uh, yeah, see you around dinner time. Stay hydrated. So after the waffles and uh, chicken, I went to this castle. Took about 15 minutes or so from the city center to reach it. Looks beautiful. Yeah, on my way back, I saw this bike in the water. Poor bike. So after that, we actually went to the to, to dinner. This is what the building looks like on the outside. I know, I just thought it looked cool, so I thought I'd share it. And uh, yeah, they have all kinds of authentic uh, Belgian dishes and Flemish dishes. Thought this was the entrance but it's not this is what it looks like on the inside it's just so authentic and uh just uh looks really cool yeah so guys we're gonna have a flemish stew dinner time we actually recorded everything turns out we didn't record so let's do it again flemish stew so we got some beef stew take a close-up of this look at this look I don't know for how many hours this has been cooking, but it's so soft and tender. It's it's amazing. And then we have the chicken version of that. See that? Look at this. Flemish stew. Apparently you can find this anywhere in Belgium. They're a big fan of stews. I'm too, by the way. I love stews. We have the croquettes, which are basically like these potato things. 
really good. It's a fries, it's a mayonnaise, and a salad, but who cares about the salad? No one, we're not touching this, we're focusing on the stews. I actually tried it already, Let's add some of this sauce. Like I said, we recorded everything, and then we, turns out we forgot to record. We thought we recorded everything. So yeah, let's try it. Look, it's so soft and tender. Look at this. Amazing. Mm. This is really good. You should try this. Flame is stew. I like the restaurant too. Look at the restaurant. It shows the uh, yeah, real authentic Flemish style, Flemish cuisine. Okay, come back to me. Yeah, let's try the chicken, uh, chicken burger. Like this. With some potato. Classic combo, meat and potatoes. Mm. Something about this sauce that makes it so much, so creamy, so good. Yeah, Flemish stew, guys. Try it. When you're ever in Leuven, you should try this. One more bite. Mm. Apparently, this is the Asian version of something tastes good. Asian? I'm not sure. This is the Dutch version. But yeah, we're gonna focus on eating now. I'll see you at the dessert. So that was it, guys. After dinner, just uh, went for a long walk in the city center, which looks amazing at night, by the way. It's look at the facades with all the lighting. It just makes it look so just gorgeous. So yeah, that's the video. Um, the first 20 videos, uh, this is my third video and the first 20 videos I'm just gonna keep experimenting, trying new stuff. Might even deviate from the whole food thing and uh, make something completely different, completely unrelated to food. So yeah, let's see. I'm not sure what the next video is going to be about. Um, it'll be a surprise, I guess. Um, so yeah. Oh, this is uh, what the city hall looks like at night, by the way. Look at that, with all the lighting. Gorgeous. Seriously, Leuven is one of the most underrated small cities in Europe. It's tiny, by the way. It doesn't even have a million uh, inhabitants. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Enjoy these last couple of uh, seconds of the video. Bye-bye.